Revelation chapter number 11 verse number 7 and when they had finished their testimony the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit may make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them we're currently in Revelations chapter number 11 verse number 7 and we are talking about the two witnesses the two witnesses that stood up for God and prophesied against the whole world the two witnesses that put on sackcloth for three years and six months 1260 days prophesying against a world that did not want to hear them against a world that wanted to enjoy their sin and pleasure against a world that did not want to repent but yet they prophesied called fire down called droughts spoke all kind of things and God worked through their words but now they made war the beast Antichrist the beast government made war with them and killed them murdered them amen and that's where we're at right now let's try to address a little bit of this let's address who is the beast and we have some reference scriptures we highly highly encourage you to read all of these on your own it's we're going to give you a lot of scriptures so we're not going to read all of these directly on here but we're going to give these to you and you can write these down or pause this video and read them at your own time and at your own pace revelations chapter number 13 verse number one revelation chapter number 13 verse number seven revelation chapter number 13 verse number 11 revelation chapter number 17 verses 6 through 8 revelation chapter number 19 verse number 19 and 20 the book of daniel chapter number 7 21 and 22 then the book of Daniel chapter number 7 we skip to verse number 25 we're still in the book of Daniel chapter number 8 verse number 23 and 24 Zechariah chapter number 14 verse number 2 then finally 2nd Thessalonians chapter number 2 verses number 8 and 9 so if you would go back and read those and we're just going to say a little bit and we're going to dig more into this as we get more into the book of Revelation. Daniel is a very good book. Daniel starting with chapter number seven. It deals a lot with end time. Daniel starts off his end time prophecy when he interprets King Nebuchadnezzar vision about the statue. And after that, then later on Daniel started having dreams himself about end time he started dreaming about the he gold and different things we're gonna touch it we're gonna get into that and the book of Daniel I would consider the book of Daniel more so as the details about the beast and revelation may be more so of the summary about the beast an end time prophecy. Daniel does an excellent job at going into some meticulous details that you find nowhere else in the scriptures. And the book of Revelation, where well, we all know the book of Revelation talks about the end times like no other book in the New Testament. So those are two good books for your study. But we highly encourage you to read those read those verses and read those chapters. And so as we start moving forward and start talking about the beast, start talking about Antichrist, start talking about the false prophet, start talking about the dragon, you will have a little background and depth. So when we jump into it, you will be right there, right on top of it. But this false government, this, this satanic government, this Antichrist actually murdered these two men of God. And if we're going to learn from our next verses, 
God will avenge them for this murder and God will avenge them speedily. And that's the thing I love about God. No matter what you're going through, God will avenge you one way or another, sooner or later. And these two great, great, great witnesses, these great men of God that stood up and said, well, thus says the Lord, God still did not abandon them, even in death. You see, we think death is the end, but for the believer, death is the beginning. The scripture says, don't fear him that can kill the body, but fear him that can destroy both the body and soul in hell. So we know to make it to heaven and be with God, that is the ultimate goal. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We ask you to help us to do your will. Touch your people everywhere. Stir hearts and minds. Let witnesses stand up for you. Let witnesses stand up and be bold for your purpose. In Jesus' name, thank God. Have a great day.